Learning how to calm the nervous system is very powerful. Two inhales followed by an exhale. <sighs> Some people are so agitated, the monkey mind, they got too many things going on. They're trying to sit down and write, wait, I've also got this person I need to connect with and I'm kind of being drawn off course by not being able to put the blinders on. For people that have that issue, and the best way that I know how to do that is based on two studies, one published in Nature, one published in Cell Reports recently, showing that physiological size are one of the fastest ways to bring our overall levels of autonomic arousal down. A physiological sigh is a two inhales followed by an extended exhale. So it's like, it's not just a deep breath, it's two inhales followed by an exhale, mm. okay? And then what that does, and this has been shown several times now in humans and other species as well, is it dilates the little sacs of the lungs, and that second inhale dilates a little bit more, and it pulls a little bit of carbon dioxide out of the bloodstream so that when we exhale, we offload the maximum amount of carbon dioxide, and it perfectly adjusts the ratio of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the bloodstream and lungs. And sometimes it only takes one of these double inhale exhales, sometimes somebody needs to do two or three. That's the fastest way to bring the autonomic nervous system down. A a lot of people need such a tool because I think we talk a lot about meditation and tools for calm and you know I can go to Esalen for a weekend and get a massage, I'm gonna feel very good, but then when I'm thrown back in real life, I need something that's gonna work in real time. The diaphragm, it's a skeletal muscle organ, unlike the spleen, the liver, the heart, etc. It was designed to be moved voluntarily. And these physiological sighs are actually occurring fairly regularly during sleep to adjust our levels of carbon dioxide. And there's a recent study showing that in claustrophobia, this is the breathing pattern that people default to, mm. to try and offload wow. that carbon dioxide. The diaphragm is real-time control over your brain state. The brain knows what the body is doing by how fast the diaphragm is moving. It knows yeah. its overall activation state. So when you breathe quickly, those 25 or 30 breaths, the brain says, oh, I must be alert. I'm gonna start secreting some noradrenaline. And when you breathe slowly, that level of noradrenaline drops down. It sounds so simple, but I think it's only in the last two or three years that my lab and Mark Krasnow's lab at Stanford and other labs elsewhere in the world have started to identify the neurons in the brain that are linked to breathing and how those two things relate to one another. And I mm. think everybody should have a kit of tools yeah. that they can use to bring themselves down and ramp themselves up.